Is remote work finally coming to an end? Zoom, White House call employees back to the office. The battle over the future of work shows no signs of cooling down. San Jose, California, February 7, a sign is posted on the exterior of Zoom headquarters on February 7, 2023, in San Jose, California. Zoom Video Communications announced plans to cut 15% of its workforce, an estimated 1,300 people. Photo by Justin Sullivan slash Getty Images. Zoom is asking employees to spend more time at the office. If managers were waiting for a sign that it was the right time to call employees back to the office, they couldn't hope for one any clearer than the announcement that Zoom, whose video conferencing technology made remote work possible for millions during the coronavirus pandemic, was limiting its own work-from-home policies. The remote work revolution is officially dead, declared Business Insider. According to Forbes, about 13% of the full-time American workforce is fully remote, another 28% workers are hybrid, meaning that they work some days from the office and some from home. But those figures could change in the coming weeks. Elected officials, corporate executives and civic leaders say that it's time to curb a practice that was convenient during the early days of the pandemic but that has outlived its usefulness. Read more on Yahoo News, the remote work culture wars are far from over. New Findings on Productivity Many workers enjoy the comforts of remote work. Many workers enjoy the comforts of remote work. When remote work was first introduced in the spring of 2020, it was a matter of necessity, not convenience, since most of the country was under strict lockdown orders. At first, managers were pleasantly surprised to find productivity increasing. Workers no longer had to brave lengthy commutes or engage in chit-chat with colleagues who wanted to share their vacation photos. Now, however, 